I'm gonna cook the tuna over the fire. Woo, baby! Welcome to a mega tuna catch and cook. The other day we went out and we caught a massive, massive tuna. 100 kilos plus, easy. I'm gonna roll that footage on for you now so you can see the size of it. It was massive. So what we're gonna to do today is cook it up on the fire. And while I'm rolling that footage on, I'm gonna go collect some firewood. Yeah. Another one. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, all good, all good. Oh, oh, oh. That's a big piece. That's a big piece. Hold on. Oh, oh. Get in there. Oh. Hey, Alan. Yeah, Alan. Can you just kick your fish away from the front feet? Yeah. Push my feet. Hey, traveling, Lukey. How's the arm? Oh, getting pretty pumped. This thing almost dumped all the line on us. Just had to go for a pretty rad chase. Hanging on to Luke while we're going. Yeah, you're on. Work, work. A bit better. I'll just sort of keep give you an idea where he's going. I was literally had load, I was like pulling him up as it popped. That's a monster too, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, not yet, not yet, not yet. Hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him, hold him. Hold him, got him. Be careful, be careful. Go. Woo! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yes. You! Yeah. 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 Ah. <laughs> ah, boys, stay with it. About 10 minutes after we pulled that one in, we put the lures back out and I ended up hooking up to an even bigger one and I was onto it for about 20 minutes and uh, the hooks pulled on it unfortunately, but we got heaps of bloody meat off that guy. And what we're gonna do today is a bit of an Italian inspiration. It's gonna be a pasta, a puttanesca pasta. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook the tuna over the fire and we're gonna serve it up with a bit of uh, puttanesca sauce on top and then just mash the bloody tuna through it. I'm excited, let's go get it. <laughs> just getting heaps of bloody firewood. So I'm just making a note of picking all the dead wood off all these trees just it's been raining the last few days, so anything that's on the ground is just completely soaked. And this stuff on the trees is actually relatively dry. So that's the stuff you're after. Yeah, baby, we got it. Oh, hope you guys bloody appreciate this. It's hard work. That fire is absolutely banging along right now. Check it out. We've got some really hard wood, uh, hard tea tree timber in there. So that's giving us some really good coals. Well, I'm just about to start preparing a few ingredients down here. So 
I'm gonna get all that and then I'll run through what I've got for you. All right, we've got a, a crusher there with our dried chilies in there. Got some fresh chilies there too, but all right, we've got some nice olive oil there. Capers, olives, southern bluefin tuna, garlic, no, ginger, garlic. I already told you about the chilies, so forget about them. Got a little shallot there, soy sauce, some canned tommies, pasta, and for all you anchovy haters out there, these you will not taste. They melt through the dish. You'll get that, that real nice savory flavor of them. So don't worry, I'm getting the salt out of them. I'm not going there. We're not eating them raw, so put them in. I'm gonna start prepping up all these ingredients anyway, and then we'll chuck it in that pot on the coals and get that sauce really bubbling away nicely. We're gonna boil the pasta with some salt water. I'll just head over there and grab some ocean water. Then I'll cook the tuna fillet on the underside of this lid, I think. We'll cook her on that. That's, that's me pan. Um, so tuna on that, sauce in the pot, and I've got a little gas cooker there to boil up some of the ocean water. I hate putting me cast iron set in the sand, but we've got no other option. It just goes in everything, and because you've got to oil it, it just sticks to everything. So what I'm going to do is, wait a minute. Let's bung a heap of oil in this cast iron pan. Now I'm just gonna start adding all my ingredients into that now just cause I've got nowhere else to put any of it. I'm not cutting these garlic cloves up too small cause They'll burn otherwise while I'm trying to flavor that oil. The other thing I'm gonna do, I'm just saving one of these cloves to do exactly this right now. Shove that in there. The soy sauce. Excuse the measuring cup. I had nothing else at home and I was like, I don't wanna smash something and I was running out the door. So I've got a measuring cup and a bit of ginger to go in there as well. This is separated from, separated. This is separate from, the, the pasta dish I'm doing. I'm just making up a little marinade to, for the soy and we're gonna dip some raw sashimi in that and just eat that while we're cooking because that's gonna be tasty. So just with that shallot, shaving that up. And then the chilies, I just got them in like a little hand grinder. Sweet as, check that out. Let that sit for like 10 minutes and get all that juicy goodness together. Chilies. Five of those anchovies that most people hate. I don't, I love them, but you won't taste them. So who gives a Dump in a heap of those capers. or will chuck in these olives as well at the same time. You come here. So that's what I got now. Just all that stuff we just chucked in there. We're gonna chuck it on the coals in a minute, heat it all up, and then we'll get our tomatoes in before all that starts to burn. So I've also got some tuna belly here. So that's got a lot more marbling and fat through the, the, the belly region. So that's really tasty for the sashimi. And if you're just cooking it in general, I don't know if you can see all that marbling, the white, lines running through the flesh there. So that's all fat and that's that's what makes it really soft. Mm, that's so good. That's so good as well. Try that, that's way better than just soy sauce. Oh. Sorry, I'm picking out, oh, I'm so hungry. I came out here not expecting to take as long as I have. That sun's even gone now, but I forgot to bring any food. So I'm just absolutely stuffing my face right now. All right, I'll have these two bits and I'm gonna chuck that on the fire. Mm. Thanks too for watching this video, by the way. If you're getting value out of this content, hit that like button. If you're feeling generous, subscribe to my channel for other videos like this. Let's get this cooking because I'm starving. Let's drag some of these hot coals out of here. <whistles> Woo! They are 
not hot, which is a good thing. There's so many birds just rocked up as soon as I started cooking. I don't know if the, the smell's just emanating down the cliff faces and anyway, we've just found ourselves a spoon. This is starting to sizzle away, so we'll give that a quick mix before it starts to burn. And those anchovies are just gonna melt out really fast. Oh, I just got oil <laughs> splattered in my eye. Chili oil. Awesome. Just gonna dump those tomatoes in there. I don't know if you can see, but that along there is the southernmost tip of Australia. Get that on a lower heat. That's just way too hot now. I just want that to simmer, simmer away slowly. We check that out. Silly old me, buddy. Went out on the boat the other day, cooked some snags up and went out to come here today and just grab my cooker out of the boat and forgot to clean that. So we're gonna have some snag juice in our Putanesca bloody tuna pasta thing, I guess we're cooking. Ooh, this is gonna be a mission. I feel like I'm in an egg and spoon race. Woo! Oi, good one. Yeah, just spill it all over the rocks. Yeah, real, real smart. Smash some salt in there as well, eh? I'll tell you, look, there's birds literally everywhere. Get out of here! Go on, get! Get out of here! Look at all that sausage juice just sitting on top there. That was not on purpose, that's for sure. I'm not putting salt in because we got ocean water. I did grab it and then I realized I've got bloody ocean water. That would have been salty, salty pasta. And just because I'm cheating, just some mixed herbs into here. It's just so hard to cut herbs out here without them flying all around the joint. I'm just gonna smash a few of them in. Well, they're smashed in there now, so I'm just waiting for that pasta to boil. I've got it just over there out of the wind because it's not heating up too quickly. And as soon as our pasta is nearly done, bang, we're gonna start our tuna fillet on our pan lid. I cannot wait to eat. That is what is on my mind right now. Oh yeah. We're on. This is gonna be really bloody good. Oh, nice. Let's just get some coals out for this tuna. One frying pan. So the way I normally pan fry my uh, tuna steaks is that, that brownness there that's forming on the bottom, uh, when that comes up to halfway, I'll flip it. And when it does the same on that side, uh, I'll leave it for about another minute. So that means that the middle of the meat should be cooked all the way through, not just the outsides and met halfway, but the center of the meat's met halfway as well. So that is how, it, how I cook my bloody fillets. I could not talk a lick of English there. All right, that brownness has just come up halfway now. So what I'll do is so check that out. Let's flip that over. That's looking really good actually. Actually, I'll spin that around so we've got a nice window on that side. Just in the meantime, let's heat this pasta back up for two seconds. I wish you guys could smell this and taste it. 
so good. I know I bang on about it all the time, how good they taste, but they actually do. They taste so good. And that's why I just want to show you some of the recipes I found over the years and some of the stuff I'm making up these days that tastes unreal. And hey, give it a shot. Let me know what you think. If you do cook one, please let me know down in the comments. But yeah, I'm just showing you what I know and what I found to be best for me because I've cooked tons and tons of different dishes. Heaps of good ones, heaps of shit ones. I'll show you only the good ones though. You can, don't worry about the shit ones. I've already done the hard work for you. All right, that's sizzling away nicely again. Let's serve this bad boy up. And let me know what else you do with your southern bluefin tuna or yellowfin, whatever tuna you're cooking. Let me know what you do with them. <laughs> oh, baby, get out of there. <laughs> oh, I am bloody excited about this one. All right, let's smash another piece of this sashimi. Mm. Alright. Awesome. Look at that. Perfectly cooked tuna. Mm, that is so good. It's not so pretty anymore. Holy smokes, that's good. <laughs> Sorry about my table manners. That is off its head. If one of you guys could at least try one of my recipes, let me know what you think. And if you don't, I'm not gonna be mad, but go do it, please. You'll do yourself a favor. Hit that like button if you got value out of this content. Love you all. I'll see you guys on the next one. Yo! Wow.